Hello everyone and welcome to making the Far Futures Technologies mod compatible with Realism Overhaul and Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I have not done a whole lot of work on this and I've gotten mixed messages whether it was already compatible or not. But basically, I just marked the bloody things compatible. <laughs> um, uh, I, I didn't do anything too complicated except for with the RCS ports, in which case I did nerf them. Uh, I did reduce the amount of thrust that they had to make them uh, more realistic because the amount of electric charge that they draw, uh, they actually should not be producing even this amount of power, much less what they originally were assigned. Uh, the ISPs were fine for an arc jet using hydrogen or lithium. Uh, in fact, they could have had higher ISPs than what they have right now. But basically, I didn't have to tweak a whole lot here. And the reason for that is because, well, there weren't any reaction wheels. There weren't any real fuels as such. I mean, th th there are some real fuels, but we're talking about mostly tanks with nuclear salt water, lithium, um, you know, stuff like that, antimatter. Uh, antimatter cost science apparently. Uh, so these are things that, you know, there are no particular standards in realism overhaul to set them by. And so we can sort of just accept them now. There might be some controversy about this, but my policy as far as realism is concerned is actually anything that might happen in the future that's physically possible is a lot more realistic than alternate histories. With alternate histories, we know those things didn't happen, like the Soviets landing on the moon first, or uh, certain engines that were discarded or only on paper actually being used. That definitely did not happen in reality. Uh, as far as these are concerned, they could happen in reality. Uh, so they're actually sort of more realistic than all the alternate history stuff. Uh, so. The problem is that we don't have any good way to assign numbers to them sometimes. Like the dry mass of a lithium tank, what is that going to be? Uh, but on the bright side, I haven't configured them for career because I have no way of configuring them for RP1. Uh, as far as RP2000 is concerned, they will be compatible because I think they are placed in community tech tree. So they are in there somewhere. But I didn't price them, so you'd have to accept whatever prices that are assigned here, which seems, well, they're probably still pretty cheap. I mean, I don't know how much fission, pil uh, fission pulse units would cost, but by RP2000 standards, that's about $247 million. Uh, probably they cost more than that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll set that aside for now. Uh, so. Uh, taking a look at the configurations, let me uh, show you what it entailed here. The uh, Almost all of them are just marking it true as far as being RO configured. And you could, if you want, just mark them false and then they'd be work in progress. And then resizing the parts so that they fit human standards because all the other parts that you're going to have, including the stock parts, will be resized like this by this scale. So if you don't resize the Far Future Tech parts to the same scale, then that means that they won't fit the other parts that have already been configured by Realism Overhaul. So yeah, all these are just rescaling them and just assigning them as compatible just so that they show up. The exceptions are the arc jets. As I said, I tweak them so that they're a little bit, a uh, little bit more reasonable and not quite so powerful. Though you know, if we used more power and increased the electric charge consumption by a lot, then I've already been very kind as far as the thruster power is concerned. Uh, but. Yeah, if we increase the thruster, uh, the electric charge consumption by a lot, we could increase the thruster power. I have also made a textures unlimited thing. I gave everything the same metallic sort of look. Uh, people might not like this. That's up to you. Uh, but if we take a look back in here, that's what's giving it a little bit more shine than usual. I think. I don't know. I could do with more shininess, to be honest. If you take a look at the RCS thrusters, they're all a little bit shinier, that's all. But I didn't. it's not like I did a whole lot of work here. But 
I did want to indicate that I'm willing to just make these things you know compatible as much as possible these there wasn't too much that I could do there is a problem with these spherical tanks in that their node is sort of buried in there I don't know if it's because of the, it doesn't seem like it's because of the subtype thing um, but there's nothing in the configuration that seems to indicate they should be this way all the other parts had their node maintained by the rescaling without any problems. This one is a little bit hard to see. So now how did it all work out in uh, realism overall context? Well I should probably play around with that. If there are other mods that you think need to be configured, uh, probably ones that are a little bit more complicated than this. This again because it's so far out makes it easy <laughs> in a way. Just like KSP Interstellar it's easy when there really is no standards to adjust them by, then just get rid of the reaction wheels or nerf the reaction wheels if they're in stations and fix the RCS ports and make sure that they conform insofar as they use any real fuels. So it's not that complicated. But yeah, if you have any other mods that you'd be interested in, please do tell me. I hope to make real solar system more usable for everyone. Um, really, uh, there is a sort of, I guess, uh, debatable thing whether these sorts of configurations should be RO configurations or not. Uh, I just want them to be as compatible with real solar system as possible. And since RO is by default the thing that people always use with real solar system, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way, by the way. But uh, just so that people can use it with real solar system, let me just mark it like that. And maybe you can use RP2000 with it if you're interested in that. But if you have any other requests, please do tell me. I'll put the links in the video description for the RO file. You can dump it anywhere in the game data folder and the textures unlimited file if you want to use that. And so with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.